Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video we're going to do a very quick tutorial on how to create a wall painting or a poster. Before I get started though I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who subscribed. If you haven't yet done that feel free to hit the subscribe button, give that notification icon a thump as well. Also a massive thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. Links to Patreon are in the description below. So let's jump into this then. The first thing we want to do is we want to create a new primitive, which is going to be done by clicking on this icon at the top that looks like three shapes smushed together. And we're going to create a plane. There's multiple options, but plane is the one we're going to go with, unless you wanted to create a canvas, but we're going to just stick with a nice flat poster that we're going to stick on the wall. Size wise, you don't really want it to be too big because obviously it needs to be realistic in its dimensions. So I'm going to say one meters wide and we only need it to be one division as well. So there we go. There's our object down on the floor there. We're going to select it by clicking on it and then we're going to drag it up and we're going to rotate it along the X axis so that it's facing towards the camera. So we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now, depending on the dimensions of your photograph, you are going to need to adjust the scale of the object. Now, if it's straight out of camera, most DSLR photos are going to be two by three. So for example, we want the X scale to be 300 and then the X scale to be 200 obviously that's massive so we need to reduce the overall scale back down to a sensible size now this should in theory now be suitable to fit any photograph that was taken in a dslr obviously if your dimensions differ from that then you're going to need to find out what they are so the next thing we want to do is we're going to go into our surfaces tab and we're going to expand the plane surface and we're going to select base. And then where it says base color, we're going to click on that and we're going to choose our image. Now that we've got our image selected there, you can see that it is on the picture. And if we go into our Nvidia iRay preview mode, you can see that the picture is now rendered onto that poster. And that's really all there is to it. As long as you get the dimensions of the frame correct, so you don't have to mess around with UV coordinates or anything like that. It's really that simple. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.